this video, we're going to cover the loading and scaling of plans, as well as a few quick tips and tricks to make the whole process really, really easy. Now to start, I'm going to click on this green button right here at the top, and it will ask me to either drag the PDF files in, or I can go ahead and find them from my computer, which is what I'm going to do in this instance. You'll see I've got the plans from the previous uh, video, the demo plans here. And a quick note, sometimes we get asked this, is if you do have multiple files, um, so say like architectural and engineering as an example, that's completely fine. You can select multiple files at once and it'll just simply merge them together when it brings it into the build exact system. And in this case, I'm just gonna grab uh, this one file here um, and it'll list the names. And then we're just, it's just simply gonna ask me the question of whether I wanna use high quality or not. Now, generally we tell people to not really worry about this unless you have an absolutely ginormous plan, like maybe you're doing a whole subdivision as an example. The other exception is if you've got plans that are colored and you want them to stay that way because when we import them into the build exact system, not with the high quality button turned on, it is gonna turn it to black and white. With that being said though, if you do load plans in and you notice straight away that they're not high quality enough, then you can always come back and load them in again. It's really not that big of a deal either way. So here I'm gonna click import and it's gonna to crunch them together. And once it's done importing the file, it will then show up with a message saying, do you wanna scale the plans now? And basically just think of this as it asking, uh, you know, do you wanna calibrate the plans now? Which is basically just build exact, uh, figuring out how big everything is. Personally, I say no, we're gonna cancel this step. Um, I will scale them in a few moments, but um, the reason why I'm going to cancel at this point is I much prefer to do the housekeeping and cleaning up of the pages here. So things like rotating, naming of the pages, or even removing pages that maybe just don't need to be there. I find it much easier to do all of that beforehand, uh, before I start scaling and drawing on them versus after. So I'm just going to say floor plan for this one, and I've just used this little blue pen over here. And this, obviously, I can continue to go through the different pages. I can use the arrows to scroll them through. And here, this one, I'm going to call it elevation. Now, naming is a fantastic thing. And really, more than anything else, just going to help you find them later on. Or if you are sending the plans to other trades, which you have the option to do, it will also help them because obviously it'll have the name on it and it'll just help them get to the right plans sooner. So once I've done my cleanup and housekeeping, I'm then going to go ahead and click this scale button here. And we have three options. First one is, is I've got, you know, hey, look, I just want to scale this one page or I want to scale everything that's not been uh, calibrated or I want to go ahead and just scale the entire lot. And my tip to people is that the quickest way to get any set of plans scaled is to scale them all together. And then it, if there's any odd ones out, uh, just to go back and fix those. So a great example and something we certainly see quite often and we get a set of plans is you might have most of the pages being at one particular scale and then you might have a say a site plan which might be a completely different scale. So we think that the easiest way to fix that or to tackle it is really just to scale all of them based off of the scale that's the most common across all the different plans you have. And then once you've done that, then you can go back and just do those few odd pages out, uh, which you know in this case again might be a site plan as an example. So much easier than doing it individually and just keep that in mind as you go through. So here I'm gonna click scale all plans. And this is the first time we've seen the plans loaded in. And I'm just gonna go through a couple things as far as moving them around, uh, zooming in and anything like that. So I've got a wheel on my mouse and that's really handy to help zoom in and out. But you can also use this blue dot over here, which is a lot quicker. And I use this just simply because the other one um, the, the on the mouse is a little bit slower, better for just, you wanna get just a little bit closer in and out as you go. As far as moving them around, I'm simply clicking and holding it and then dragging this page around. So think of it almost like grabbing the page and then moving in and then the system will be able to tell the difference between you doing that. So clicking and holding and you can do a single click which is to, just to tell the system, hey, I actually just wanna drop a point here. So uh, once I moved in up to where I wanna be, I'm just gonna follow this first step here which is to draw a horizontal line on the plans below. And really it's just roughly, roughly translating here that we wanna find the longest horizontal line we can. So overall fantastic and here we go, highlight that. And so I'm just clicking once at the end and dragging it to the other end. Now, notice that I didn't need to be able to see the whole entire thing in one go. 
So going into the other end and clicking again, just the single click here, that's all it's asking me for the length of that line. I'm gonna enter that in here, making sure to get those exact dimensions. And it's gonna use that information to then calibrate itself. If I've made a bit of a mess, that's okay. I can use cancel at any point and it will give me the crosshairs back to draw another one. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that in and I'm gonna say next. And it will then give me another step. And this is where I complete exactly the same thing, but I'm gonna do a vertical line now. And the reason why we do this is to check the plans are square and it actually does this to be able to scale in two directions. So if we do get plans that aren't particularly perfectly square or they're skewed a bit by photocopying or maybe they've been drawn on graph paper, that's all perfectly fine. It can still make sense of it and it will then use that to calibrate those plans and you'll be able to use the software after that. So I've just gone ahead and entered that in and I'm gonna finish this uh, on this last step. I'm popping it in here and it just popped up here saying that now all the plans are successfully scaled. Now, if I needed to, for example, uh, correct this individual page, which in this example I don't, but let's just go through it anyways so I can make the point. Now, if I needed to correct this page, I would pick it out of the list and go back into the scroll menu and say, rescale this plan. And remember for the example I gave before, the site plan that I need to fix that particular page, I can just rescale that one page. Also worth mentioning is the copy scale button. Really handy. Uh, if you have a need to be able to copy scale from one page and paste it to another, that's the same scale. So you can do that very simply. And that can be particularly handy if you're say bringing in revisions and rather than going through them manually and scaling them, then you can just say, yep, it's the same and just copy and paste the scale across. Finally, little point I wanna mention here is just this cog button on the screen. And you'll, you'll see these cog buttons on pretty much all the screens through BuildExact. But I wanna just make a quick mention here because we do get questions about this quite a bit. Now, if I wanna be able to print plans out and particularly print out plans that I've done takeoffs on, and then within this cog here, there's a print button and also an email button. So you can go in and choose to send takeoffs or print takeoffs or whole plans out of this one page. It's really up to you, but that's how you do it. Thank you.